All right, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Akeen, here to give you a preview of the Maryland Terrapins for the 2017 college football year. Last year, they were bowl eligible. They actually ended off their season with a 6-7 and seven overall record, losing in the quick lane bowl, 30-36. to 36. That's going to be capping off the season with a loss. DJ Jurgens needed to do a better job as far as the recruiting process for the Terrapins in order for this team to succeed and even compete Pete in the Big Ten uh, um, conference. Now, they do have the return of running backs Ty Johnson and Lorenzo Harrison. They actually did a great job running the football. They failed at passing the football for the um, past couple of seasons. They need to do a better job passing the football, but they did a great job running the football, particularly with uh, Ty Johnson and Lorenzo Harrison. They both averaged over six yards per carry. Now, as far as the receiving court, they do have DJ Moore and uh, Tavion uh, Jacobs, as well as Jaquil Avai to step it up as far as the receiving court, but they didn't really do too well passing the football, as I mentioned earlier. Now, as far as the quarterback battle, it's actually going to be between Caleb Henderson and sophomore uh, Max uh, uh, Borting uh, says uh, this is going to be a good duel. I think it's going to be Caleb Henderson's job to start off with, with the season, but we will see. That's just my prediction. Now, as far as the defense, they use a 4-2-5 base defense, and they need to do a better job overall, but I really think it's because of the poor play on the offensive unit is why the defense actually struggled more because they had to go right back onto the field when uh, offense couldn't march down the field too well. They did a good job pounding the football with running, like I said, but they do need to do a better job as far as their play action pays of uh, passes just to develop more to just to have more bounce offensively. Now, as far as the defensive unit, I am looking at senior uh, uh, Jesse uh, Anna Bonham, who had nine sacks last season to lead the team, and he was actually in the top 10 in the conference in sacks. And I do like defensive alignment in uh, T uh, Kayvon Walker, a good defensive tackle, a good, um, good tandem between the two as far as the D line. They do have a solid D line. And I do do like their return of Jermaine Carter, their leading tackler with 101 uh, tackles last season to go along with six sacks. So they do have some good playmakers on the defensive unit. And as far as the secondary, I do like Denzel uh, Kyers and Junior uh, Darnell uh, Savage. They have pretty decent speed. As far as their overall cover skills, they need to do a better job breaking off and using better fluid hips uh, as far as... Um, changing their uh, position and changing direction. I actually had a better closer look of these two particular players. That's why I'm actually noticing kind of kind of scouting them a little bit because I live in the state of Maryland. That's why um, I had a better look of these guys actually up close and personal. Now it's time for me to take a look at their uh, schedule. On September 2nd, they play against my Texas Longhorns at Austin. I'm already going to call this one out. They are definitely going to lose that matchup against my Longhorns. September the 9th, they're going to be hosting Towson. They should pull off a victory to start off their first victory of the season. September the 30th, it's going to be at Minnesota. That could be a little bit of a, that's, that could be a great match for you guys to watch in Big Ten play. October the 2nd against um, Ohio State at Columbus. That should be an L, but we all hope that the Maryland Terrapins can pull off the upset, wishing and praying that they can pull off the upset. October the 14th is going to be at Northwestern, and they have they had a great running back last season in Justin Jackson. October 21st is going to be at Wisconsin. This is going to be a tough Badger team to beat. And the 28th on uh, October 28th is going to be against Indiana. November the 4th in um against Rutgers. I think Indiana and Rutgers should be victories for the Terrapins. Uh, November the 11th against Michigan. November the 18th, Michigan State, and the 25th, Penn State. Those are going to be a tough matches. Now, last season, they did beat the Spartans, but they're, uh, the Spartans are looking to vent last season's loss, as well as other losses. They did go 3-9. and nine. I think that overall for this season, I don't think they're going to go become bowl eligible. I'm just not confident as far as their uh, passing attack offensively. I think the team's just going to focus more on stopping the run against the Terrapins because they ran the football effectively I think that people or teams are going to put more uh, at least more players inside the box just to isolate and stopping the uh, run, rushing attack of the Terrapins. Like I said, they did do a pretty good job. Um, now, overall, I think this team is going to go 5-7 and seven and not become bowl eligible at the end of the season. Now, the next time to catch you guys will be in a couple of minutes. I have two more blogs for today, for tonight. Thank you for watching this blog. I'm your man, Akeem McCall. Be easy.